Why? Me. All the people, me though. 24 year old Namane Laster is now behind bars. He's being charged with first degree murder and fell in possession of a firearm, among other charges. On August 1st, 2020, in Denver Port, Iowa, Jeremy Shorter, aka Boss Man, 26 years of age, was attending his eight-year-old son's funeral after he died of cancer at Wirtz Funeral Home on Jersey Ridge Road. At around 11.30 a.m., when Namoni Lester, 27 years of age, shot him while he was outside of the funeral home. All while this guy was attending his son's funeral, Namoni Lester would be arrested and then interrogated for this murder. Throughout this interrogation, this guy literally told on himself, but he felt so bad about this murder, as you can see throughout this interrogation. And I'm always, I always have a gun. That this is what I'm telling you. They, and they know that. The man detective dropped us. I heard you were looking to talk with the detective. You yeah. alright? Yeah, what up, though? Yeah. If you want to chat with us, we, we have to go through a Miranda form first before I can talk with you, which is basically just reading you your rights, okay? Man, I want a cigarette, right? You want a cigarette? Yeah. And then, okay. Um, who's, uh, so you were there to see, uh, to visit Jameer, yeah. right? Jameer was Jeremy Shorter's eight-year-old son who died from cancer. And he says he was at the funeral to pay respects to him. And he, he died of cancer? What kind? I don't know, it just kept spreading. He was battling cancer for like four years. Four years? Uh, where was he getting treatment? In Minnesota. Okay. And that's where um, you live too, right? You live in Minnesota? Or no, no, I live here. Oh, okay. Did you stay in Minnesota at all? No, okay. I've never been. I've been to Minnesota just visiting. Okay, and that's where Kylie lives. Mm -hmm. that's, with Jeremy. Okay. But Jeremy doesn't. Jeremy stays here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you said you've not had any other beef with Jeremy ever. There's no... I've never had any beef... I've never had any beef with nobody there. Like I said, they know me from a relationship. Yeah. This is my girl's family. Like, But you knew Jermaine and Desmond didn't like you. Yeah, but I'm not, but in, not, you didn't I'm know. not in tour with them. Being in tour with somebody is like, when I see you, I'm not asking questions. Gotcha. Right. Beef is, when I see you, it's on site. Yeah. Beef isn't, hey, man, what's going on? Right. Like, do you still want a problem or no? That's not beef you get what i'm saying so with them it's like they just think that they gonna hurt me or something and just be like oh we family told you when we catch you we fucking you up right with me it's like bro y'all not gonna do nothing to me just stay away from me please you okay. know what i'm saying yeah that, that's that's what it is with me you get what i'm saying with them it's like if we catch them we gonna fuck them up except when they by themselves except when they by themselves right. and then i'm just so like, I'm a humble, smooth person. That's why people think, like, they could do whatever to me because I'm some type of, like, somebody tell me, like, bro, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Like, I, you right. You will. Like, I'm not going to tell you what you're not going to do. I'm not the type of person, like, I'm going to slap you. You ain't going to do nothing. I'm not one of those ignorant. Oh. At this point, they would talk about when he ran away from the police when they arrested him. He says that he's basically homeless, and he just stays where he can at the moment. So you ended up going up to a garage on 16th Street. Where do you Where do you live at? When you say you live here, we haven't even asked you that. Where do you live? I really don't have nowhere to go. I was staying with this girl named Alexis Robinson right there on 16th, and then I got put out, and ever since then I've just been bouncing around. What about 8th and Division? Did you used to stay there? What the hell is on 8th and Division? I don't know. So to, today, after you get into the, you go across the Centennial, the cops chase you for a little bit over there, come back, you park the car, you go up to 16th, mm -hmm. right? And then, um, did ever make it into the house or is it just the garages? No, I just made it into the, that's my brother house. Okay. He never let me in and like, I don't know, he didn't, I'm guessing he didn't know who I was. I knocked on the door, somebody looked out the blind, he probably was looking for my car cause he's scary, you get what I'm saying? Like a lot of situations and shit been happening with him. So I seen him look in the blinds, he didn't open the door, I knocked. Probably for like 15 minutes, I was sitting on the porch and something just told me like, leave. You get what I'm saying? I walked down the street and I just started seeing like police. You get what I'm saying? So I just hid in somebody's yard. Okay. I didn't know that the police went to his house. 
he must have called him and told him I, I don't know if he seen me and called him or I don't know what the hell went on you get what I'm saying like I don't I don't know why the police was called to that area I knocked on my brother's door and next thing I know the police started swarming the area I walked off I came back after the like I left for like 25 minutes I just the police was too in the area and I'm like I'm knowing that they probably looking for me I'm fresh out of deal the right to remain silent is a fundamental right that protects criminal suspects from making statements that could incriminate themselves which is a part of the fifth amendment to the u.s constitution you know what I'm saying? did you think they were looking for you because of the jeremy thing or because of something else i know that they i just did something i wasn't okay. supposed to be doing this is like i didn't i wasn't doing it on no plot and scheme and trying to get right. away with something i didn't go yeah. there intentionally to do right. what happened you get what i'm saying so i'm like i wasn't wearing a mask or some right. shit like that like right. i'm right. trying to get away with something yeah. you get what i'm saying what yeah. happened happened so i'm knowing everybody knows who gotcha anybody i'm not trying to be seen by nobody who want to retaliate for him or the police you get what i'm saying so yeah for sure i stood off the street for a little bit and then i'm like let me go back to my brother house to see what the hell went on when i walked up the next door neighbor told me like all oh, the police just left your brother crib Ooh. i'm thinking like what the hell what the, for what then he like, oh, he said somebody was at his door. Ooh, ooh. I'm like, bro, call him and tell him it's, it's his brother. You get what I'm saying? He like, I don't got his number, his phone off, blah, 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 skippy. At the same time, my niece was coming out the door, carrying out the garbage. When she seen me, I'm like, tell your dad I'm outside. Ask him, can I come in? She said something, threw the garbage in the garbage, went in, locked the door. I went in the garage that the dude, the next door neighbor, who told me like, uh, all the police was just right here and all of this. Woo -woo -woo. It was a bike right there. That's the bike I got on. I just grabbed the bike, rolled out, and that's when the undercover and the Jeep seen me, and it went from there. You want a couple phone numbers from your phone, right. correct? Uh, including Ray Mom. Right. And she, who, who is she in your phone as? Uh, Kanisha Carter. Kanisha. Okay. With a K or C? With a K. Okay. And that's what it's under, so we can get that for you? Yeah, it's not under. No, no. I don't have a phone for it to be in there. You didn't have a phone? No, I, I threw the phone too. Where at? In the river. In the river. So what was the what was up with the Facebook? I was able to find his Facebook page and he was an active poster. And it actually looks like he has a daughter too. But I wasn't able to find a post that they started to talk about. What was Facebook? You mean Facebook Live or you're part of a Facebook Live? It's on your page, right? What's your what's your Facebook name? What Facebook Live was I a part of? I'm just what's your Facebook name? I'm saying, what did I got to do anything? Well, because we were told by some people that were there that you were on Facebook either talking about it or making some issue about potentially coming back. One key point that I noticed about this interrogation was that the police actually started backwards from when he got arrested. So it might be a little confusing for some people. After it happened, some people told us that you made a post on Facebook too about... Um, I just did... Uh, it's over and go out the dumb way or something like that. Oh, statuses just be statuses on Facebook. Yeah, but you have to do them. Like right. I don't, I can't type you a status. Right, right. You have to type your own status. Right. It's so we're just my Facebook to... name Peso Ben Pimpin. Okay. P E S O Ben Pimpin. I'm pretty sure if they told y'all about the status, they told y'all about. I know. Yeah, but Facebook name. when we asked that, we're just confirming. Yeah, I just want to confirm it out my mouth. Yeah. It's, it's public, so y'all can see whatever I didn't delete it. Okay. Like that. But you're saying there was no Facebook Live? I haven't seen I it. I never went live on Facebook. Okay. Did anyone, there is one on your page or whatever, but I don't know if it's yours if, or if they just tagged you in it. There's not no live on my Facebook. Okay. It wasn't intentional. Like I said, I'm a felon in possession of a firearm. Mm -hmm. I discharged the firearm. Unfortunately, something happened that, like I said, it wasn't intended. I ain't trying to justify maximize or minimize my actions you get what i'm saying yeah i'm very conscious of what's going on i'm really like you feel me right now but i'm just com composing myself because it's like it might not be real time in a cell in orange later like damn i'm i fucked up you get what i'm saying i know i fucked up right now i'm thinking about my kids and everything i did and it's like it just wasn't intentional and then it's like I don't want to be here like all oh, lesser charges and thinking about my life when I just took somebody life at his son in front of him, you right. know what I'm saying? But like I said, it wasn't intentional. I didn't go there in, 
intending to kill anybody. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was not a plot, a play, a robbery, a plan. It was none of that. You get what I'm saying? I didn't go there to kill anybody. I didn't go there to kill anybody. I possessed a gun to protect myself. Well, what comes with protecting myself is if something happens to me, then this is a defense mechanism. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Is that like? I'm just trying to get into your mind as far as what you thought was going to happen, what the result was going to be, because I agree. You pointing the gun, a totally different outcome and a totally different thing than you pulling the trigger on the gun. So what did you think was going to happen when you pulled the trigger? I pulled the trigger one time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Once I pulled the trigger and I got let go, like I said, the same thing that happened, that would have happened if he would have stole on me and I upped on him. Mm-hmm. I went to my car. I, I pulled the trigger one time. Yeah. It's, it's not a hundred shell cases yeah, yeah, yeah. or a thousand shell cases out there. I wasn't recklessly. Oh, yeah. Just to note that Jeremy Shorter, the victim, was charged with a shooting that happened back on February 8th, 2016. He was charged with intimidation with a dangerous weapon which is a class C felony and it's punishable by up to 10 years. I get it. You didn't stand over top of him after he went down and mow him down. But that's not justifying it. It's just as bad. The outcome is just the same. What's the difference between a hundred bullets and one bullet? If they died, they died. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I get that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm saying to say that I didn't react like an animal. I didn't pursue him or like I said, he, th- this man punched me in my mouth, damn near knocked me out. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. can say his dad grabbed me, not justifying or nothing. I probably did okay. a feather to the man's arms. You know what I'm saying? So, when you, you you know you pulled the trigger. Yeah. Okay. He just admitted that he pulled the trigger, which makes it a lot easier for them to prosecute him in court. So, it's not like you accidentally pulled the trigger. Right. Okay. I, I guess that's kind of my question. Yeah. Right. Um. Uh, I didn't point it at anybody, though. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, I, I pray that his video somewhere that somebody recorded it like it was a fight or something. I don't know if somebody got, or if the funeral home got cameras. I pray that it's a camera somewhere because you can see that I literally shot the gun like this. I'm like this, literally. Like, I didn't, I'm literally like, you get what I'm saying? Somebody's on me, I'm bent over, I shoot the gun. As soon as I get let go, I get up. I'm good to go. I run to my car. I, I didn't like, oh, I see germ hit the ground. Mm-hmm. If if I'm trying to kill you or anything like that, I could have just, everybody, don't move. Stop playing with me. You too. Y'all over there who was just approaching me, I can't come in here. Every, mm-hmm. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yes. Yeah. yeah, totally understand that. Like, that that wasn't the case. Did you, when you left, when you, you left out there, uh, did you have to drive around him? Like, uh... Did anyone try to stop you from leaving? No, but when I got back to my car, the scene was cleared out. I don't know if he got up and walked away or okay. if they carried him away or what. And you just took off. And then where are you heading? Do you even know? I was headed down Jersey Ridge. I was in a frantic state of mind. I just was trying to get away from the area. Where do the cops get behind you at? Uh, right there where Jersey Ridge and Kirkwood, like meet up at or whatever. Okay. By Quick Sharp. And they, do they turn? Do they try to stop you? Yeah, I pull over for him. You did. Okay, and then what happened? He upped the gun on me and I put off. Okay, so he ends up, it's called a felony stop is what it's called. So he doesn't approach you, but points the gun at your car. Okay, mm-hmm. and you take off. But you did stop initially. Mm-hmm. What was your mindset at that point? Stop. Stop. Uh, does he get back in and follow you? Mm-hmm. Okay, how long does that last? Who's the better driver, you or the police officer? I, um, I ain't bragging on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, for real, it's not a laugh. I know, I know. Like I said, I, when I stopped, I was going just... Like I said, I I started crying as soon as I pulled off. You get what I'm saying? Like, when I pulled over, it's like, damn. But I'm just knowing, like, I'm a felon in possession of a firearm, and there's no talking myself out of this. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. I can't... I, like I said, I didn't try to kill him. I didn't know that he... I didn't know he was going to die. You get what I'm saying? I didn't... I didn't come there to shoot him. You get right. what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't plan on doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when it happened, it was just like, damn. You feel me? And yeah. at the same time, I'm just hoping, like, damn. He hit the ground. I don't know if I shot him. At that, I don't know if I killed him. But I'm steady saying, like, I hope he don't die. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know where he got shot at. Like I said, I didn't point at him. Right. I didn't point at him. You get what I'm saying? Like. 
it just wasn't intentional. You get what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't come there for that. Like I said, I, I respect the man. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't have no problems with him. He take care of his. He got a lot of kids. He take care of his kids. He do his job. You get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't go there for that. You right. get what I'm saying? The dude who, when they just arrested me, the dude who walked up on me, his name D'Anthony. That's his cousin. You get what I'm saying? Like I just was at a girls' night in Bendorf like four days, five days ago, he was there, you know what I'm saying? Like, cool, what's up, bro, how you feeling? You out here, Patron, yeah, turn up. Right. The same dude just walked up on me, like, bro, you tripping, what the hell, why would you? That's his cousin, they like brothers. He me? walked up on you today? When the police just arrested me. Okay. It was like six or seven of Jeremy people out there when they just arrested me, like trying to get at me. Okay. But the, like Jeremy, it's his cousin, right. it's like his brother. He's looking at me like, bro, why, what's up? Why would you, like, I'm knowing his head. He's thinking, like, bro, five days ago, I was just sipping with this man smoking. Right. Cool, good, you on, love. You get what I'm saying? Like, stay out. We Some females there, we was partying. You get what I'm saying? There's love. You get what right. I'm saying? I have no problem with your, I, I don't have no problem. His people's messing with me. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, if you could say something to his family... Uh, did you talk back to his family at all? Did you say anything to D'Anthony up there? They was trying to fight me. I was okay. like, I'm telling the police, man, get me in the car. I can't, I don't, I can't look at them because I know how they feel. I right. don't know how I will feel. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. like I said, it's not intentional. I didn't oh, do that. Yeah. I didn't do that to, I didn't go there to take nobody's life at his son's funeral. Right. My kids are out here. My, I just, I've been, I got two two-year-olds and a four-year-old. I've been in prison. 26 months, you get what I'm saying? County time and all of that, this damn near the whole four years. Right. My kids just, I ain't seen my kids in 13 months. I got locked up July 22nd of last year, got out June 17th for this year. They just came to town for the funeral for the first time. I only been seeing my kids for like the last two or three days because they fresh from Minnesota. I didn't come here today on that. You get what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just always me getting into it with my girl and her mom and then they pulling up and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, but then that's I'm gonna be always, I always have a gun. That this is what I'm telling you. They, like, and they know that? They know that, but they don't know that. Like I said, they, they can come to my house. It'll be like, we get into it. This is my crib on 16th the game, 713 West 16th Street. That's my house. I paid the rent there. It was in my girl name, but I paid the rent there. I paid the 850 a month. Every, security deposit, the brand new warranty from Sears on the Maytag, everything. All of that was mine. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. After I got into it, them, they could still come to my house. This is their family, their favorite auntie. Right, great. right. They in here barbecues, parties, they here. You get what I'm saying? This is my house. I'm upstairs in my room smoking, trying to, I don't want to be in two with them today, man. Lock my door. Ooh, get the kids out of here. I'm smoking. My kids got bronchitis. Go downstairs. You know what I'm saying? Right. And bring me a plate. Y'all having a whole barbecue at my house that I'm paying rent for, and I'm being respectful at my house. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I, what happened today is exactly what I didn't want to do with them because it's like, Damn, if one of y'all shoot me. Right. Then everybody on y'all side. Yeah. And do you know what charges I'm looking at right now? We went, we've made it into the office. Um, obviously we got some people watching every you know, what we're doing and um they wanted us to clear up those the stuff like exactly what happened, you know, with dad jumping on your back and those sorts of things and um clear up why you lied about the bag and the car and some of that stuff and we've done that so hmm. it doesn't mean that we're not going to go back out there and they're going to tell us we need to ask more in, things because yeah, that's pretty typical um but yeah that's pretty typical <laughs> but we want to uh get these numbers for you get that figured out too um and go from there all right so we have to make some phone calls too um and explain what you had to say and match that up with what other people are saying and like you said um, cameras and all that sort of stuff all right it's, it's, like say, it's gonna say I don't, I don't it's know. gonna show everything that i'm saying you get what i'm saying there's, yeah there's no cameras at the uh no not no no cameras at the funeral home on the outside here i got a pen i feel the lead is though like i didn't I didn't wake up today with this on my agenda i didn't so i was going that deal This helps, too. For real, I got This will help you. Just went through this. I don't know if y'all know who Demir Day Cobra is. Yeah. He yeah. has something to do with, like, the Brady situation. Like, yeah. 
that was a good friend of mine, and I talked to him on the phone, and like, shit like this, like, play heavy on him, and I'd be the one coaching him, like, you need to be smooth, man, you gonna come back from it, you know, you locked up, but it, your mind free, man, you get what I'm saying, like, yeah. It's good take it day by day. If that don't work, hour by hour, second by second, man, anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I coach people do shit like this. People look for me for advice for shit like this. Like, I don't be in situations like this. Right. Well, I... I'm... I can't coach myself through this. I'm the only person who's got my back. Like, I don't have them. I don't have people. You get what I'm saying? I'm from Milwaukee. If that's, I'm not asking, can I call my mom? Can I call my dad? Let my brothers... Right. Just my baby mom who want me to... We ain't the best, but shit, I don't have too much love now where I deal with a lot of females. That's not going to be nothing in this situation right now. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. I just want to let my kids know I love them. I don't know if y'all could go to. This is where he would write his letter to the camera and say he's sorry for real. Okay. Uh, do I know when, how much longer? Or what you're being charged with? Yeah. When you still don't have those, we're working. I'm saying to say, do you think it would be like a first degree homicide with how it sounded, even though it wasn't intentional? Um, let I'm gonna let some people talk everything out and make that decision. You know, that's we all have to put our heads together and come up with that one. All right. All right. Hey, bro. This money, uh, what's niche number? Nigga, they seen me. Poo Poo seen me when I was getting a bike out the garage. Nigga, Poo Poo came out the door. Nigga, seen me and went back in the crib and shut the door. As my brother, he could have came outside and just told me to move around. But. You feel me? He could have told me, get up out here. The pol police was just here anything. You could have told me. Man, the nigga punched me. He stole on me. Jermaine them got the tripping, bro. Long story short, you feel what I'm saying? He come out, oh, you out here at my son's shit. Ooh, I'm talking to him like a man. Listen, fam, I f you. I respect your shit. Ooh, I get it, my nigga. I'm here to pay my condolences. He stole on me. Come on now. You said what? And all I'm just saying to say, like for real, my nigga, nigga got sixteen dollars in my pocket, bro. I got sixteen dollars. I'm finna go over here. Nigga need soap, deodorant, and a couple dollars to make phone calls just to make sure. <laughs> nigga, think that would be here, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I'm taking 30 years, bro. I was knocking on the door. The nigga seen me. I was sitting there for 15 minutes. I left. When I walked back up, 10 minutes later, the neighbor, like, nigga, the police out here. Ooh, I don't know what happened. Team just called and said somebody was at his door. He didn't know who it was. I go to the back in the garage. Poop will come out the, the crib carrying the garbage. Long story short, she see me, she run back to the door. I, I look watching her like Uncle Money out here, Uncle Money out here. T told her step in, shut the door. I'm sitting right there, dude, leave. I'm like, fuck it, I need to get up out of here. I got a garage, the bike out the garage. When I'm walking out the garage, the police pulling back up. This nigga turned me in, bro. As you can see, his brother wasn't trying to help him out and get involved into the situation. But he was sentenced to 30 years in jail, which 10 of which he would have to serve before being eligible for parole. But let me know down in the comments, would y'all would have helped y'all friend or brother get away from the police and get involved in the situation, which could possibly make you an accomplice of a murder? Let me know down in the comments, but that'd be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.